Well, good morning. <clears throat> what an exciting day this is going to be. And the reason is I've been waiting to do a paint pour for at least three days now. I've had the idea and uh, I got it from looking at one of my wife's Facebook posts and it uh, the colors were just they just struck me as being oh that would be a make a great paint pour and these are the colors so uh, well, what I'm going to do is I give you a shot of what the colors are obviously on a, on a black canvas so I will prepare the canvas and then I'll be back uh, momentarily with uh, my little cups and we'll get into some action shots <laughs> anyway uh, this is Richard I'll be right back all righty <clears throat> here we go I got uh, I put up all my uh, back splashes for the uh, blower and I got my front guard on and my back to my sides and so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is a Dutch pour blow um, and I am not sure laying the colors down is key and and I always tell myself you've got a 50-50 chance of laying them down right uh, and of course the other 50 percent is you did it wrong so we'll see we'll see how this turns out today right or wrong I'm gonna have fun I don't care so this is gonna be exciting yes it is and oh look oh look oh look oh look whoops damn there's that professional word again whoops whoops you don't ever want to hear your doctor say that while he's cutting on you or your dentist at least I don't okay now I want maybe this one since I'm gonna have some blue over there because of my goober drop I'll put some blue there <coughs> yes how about a little bit more okay Let's give this bad boy some color. How about more over here, Richard? And um, I may put a little bit more yellow. Well, actually, it's yellow and gold. Yeah, yeah, this is great, isn't it? A little more of this. If I told you that I wanted these to be irises, would you believe me? Well, good. And don't even ask me why I'm putting these drops of blue in here. I guess it's because I had the paint left over. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Hmm. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, man, I got enough paint mixed up here to do another another one later today if if I want to. Okay. There's only one thing left to do, and that's get out the blower. and make this bad boy into a beauty all right I know the question oh I've got to get rid of these little cups or they will blow all the way to kingdom come yeah yeah yes you know they will okay um, okay I'll just put a trip drop of white down the middle of this And I know this is going to be a good pour. I know this is. Get rid of that blue. All right. Okie dokie. I'm getting the old 
hurricane maker out. I'm going for it. I am going for it. I think maybe I better pull my back splash a little bit closer because I feel a hurricane coming on. Okay. Alrighty. It's on low. And I just blew half of my office away. Alrighty, here we go. yell Richard they're not deaf of course they could be after the hurricane maker uh, let's get this out which is the bubble popper I had uh, a comment or a question the other day from one of my loyal followers or viewers or whatever we call them and they wanted to know what the bubbles look like when they pop they kept saying oh there's a crater and I said, well, the next time I get one, I'll, I'll show you. Well, today isn't going to be one of those days. Because I don't have any big craters. Okay, yep. Well, I should take that back. Maybe there's a bubble. Ooh. I'm going to add... I like it. Well, I don't like this right here, though. There, that's better. Well, okay, let's be honest with about this, okay, folks? Those are the color of irises but I'd have to say it looks like they may have been caught in a windstorm and were thrown up against the foundation of a house and beat mercifully into pulp. Huh. That's a good visual. And here we are. The black finger. Yucky, yucky. Actually, the colors will carry good. And I did get the essence Boy, these bubbles are... Okay. And you're wondering what I'm doing here? I'm trying to warm up this side to get it to dry before gravity takes over and it starts to pull the whole painting off onto the table. I've noticed I have a problem with that. And uh, it's quite irritating. You get something you like and then you come back an hour later and find it all dripped off the side and onto the table. Okay. Let's give that a minute to rest. And I will be back with some other magic tricks up my sleeve possibly. Uh, or possibly not. Anyway, I'll be back. There. Well, let's see if I can come up the. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. That's a little closer. Ooh. Yeah. All right, I uh, I think I'm fairly satisfied. It's got the range of colors I was thinking of. 
it's not the definition is it's not as crisp as I'd like, but uh, it'll carry. It'll carry. So uh, this is a what is it? A 12 by 24 16, or something of that nature. 13, 14, 16 by 24, whatever. Uh, it's a good size, and um, I am going to stop the video in the in the tripod here, and we'll take the camera out, and we'll come around to the front and get a close up and uh, see what we think collectively, okay? Remember, it's a collectively of me, of one. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. I had fun making it, and, and I'm looking forward to doing more for the next week. So I'll be back. This is Richard. I'll be back. Okay, here we go. A little bit of a close-up from the front. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's okay. It's for a Dutch bore, Dutch blow. I uh, see what happens when it starts to dry. And yeah, I think we'll call this a pour. A good pour for the day. Great way to start a pouring period out. I've been kind of stagnant for a few days. So this, this uh, gets the wrinkles out and I'm going to do another one here shortly. So stand by to stand by. This is Richard B saying thanks for watching. We'll see you shortly.